welcome back welcome back family my tiktok and youtube anybody that came and support i appreciate it all the likes subscribes shares comments are very helpful um we're back doing a general zodiac sign reading i am your host majestic quinn 444 please like subscribe Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Miss One of a Kind. We're doing general zodiac sign readings. We've already done fire signs, which are Sagittarius, Aries, or Leos. We've done earth signs, ta uh, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. And then we just finished up air signs, which are Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Now we're going to focus on our water babies. We're going to focus on the water babies, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Um if this could be anywhere in your chart, sun, moon, rising, or Venus, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, water signs. If you know, you know. If it does not resonate, don't take it. If it do resonate, always make sure you use your uh, discernment and always follow your intuition. So we're about to get in tune. If you know, you know, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Don't be in my comments talking about that one, me. <laughs> one, one on the clock. <laughs> if you know, you know. Again, these are general, general, general readings. <laughs> all right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Somebody feels like they're still in love with you after all this time. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Somebody is still in love. Still in love. And they can't wait. They can't wait for the day to come home to you every night. Every night they want to come home to you. The color blue or purple could be significant. Um... Is what I'm hearing at this time. Color blue or purple. You are the perfect mix of every um, ever wanted in a guy or girl. You are a perfect mix. You're the perfect mix of guy or girl. Somebody ever wanted. Like, you're the perfect mix. You have everything that they need. I'm hearing you could be a little hot and cold at times. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But they feel like it just makes you spontaneous. This person could be born in April. Or something is significant with the month of April. Um, they feel like you are intoxicating. Two, two, two on the clock. You are intoxicating. Um, who else had April? Um, I think Earth sign Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. They have that you could be dealing with. Um, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. The color orange could be significant. I'm hearing blue, purple, orange. Blue, purple, orange. Blue, purple, orange. Blue, purple, orange. <laughs> Blue, purple, orange. Blue, Blue, purple, orange. The color blue, purple, orange. Hey, man, this is comedian. Um, what did he say? Somebody call him... Uh, white crack of bread <laughs> i'm not even trying to be racist but somebody here could be from a different nationality or different race i'm here interracial couple at this time but it's a comedian um he is caucasian and he's very very funny very funny <laughs> let's see 333 on the clock that could be significant for someone what else we got here we got an apology Somebody here wants to give you an apology. Again, the color blue could be very significant. You could be having an um, apology due to somebody's um, I'm hearing addictions. You could be receiving some type of apology or you need to apologize due to your addictions. Possibly from a month from today, you could be receiving some type of apology from somebody here. Um, his favorite color is blue, purple, or orange. They could be born in March or something happened with you guys in the month of March is what I'm hearing. But Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, this is who we're doing right now, water signs. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, please take what resonates for you at this time. We could be dealing with somebody here who has some type of addictions. I'm hearing this person is addicted to you. Um, they could be born in April um, or something significant with the month of April. Um, they're still in love with you, though. After all this time, after all this time, they're still in love with you. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, 444 on the clock. Um, I'm definitely seeing somebody could have some type of addictions. They could be addicted to you, this person that's born in April. Um, and then we did see the month from today. A month from today. So 
something could have happened in May is what I'm hearing. Something could have happened in May because we have April. So a month from April, it's uh, May. So something significant with the month of May. Um, but somebody here can't wait to come home to you every night. They want to come home to you every night because you're intoxicating. I'm here mysterious as well. Male or female, you could be intoxicating. This person could be intoxicating. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces that you're speaking to. Um, you could be telling somebody you are the perfect mix of everything I ever wanted in a guy or in a girl. Like, I'm here. Oh, my God, y'all. Somebody wants to apologize. I'm here. Somebody wants to apologize because they're... Please don't shoot the message. I'm feeling somebody's into guys and girls. 555 five, five on the clock. That's change. Change is... Some type of change is about to happen because somebody is going to apologize because they're bisexual. You know, they're, they're apologizing because I feel like they led you on when they're actually into both is what I'm hearing. Or they're looking for both. Somebody is going to explain that to you, that they're addicted to you, but they're into both sex is what I'm hearing. Please take what resonates. Um, that could be for a select few out there. You know, I'm nobody here to judge. You like what you like. But I'm definitely feeling like this is some type of situation where somebody wants um both they want a guy and a girl or they want you know yeah that's exactly what i'm hearing you are the perfect mix i ever wanted in a guy or girl they either saying this to you like you have every quality that they need one person but i'm feeling like somebody wants to apologize because they wasn't honest with you about what they actually into is what i'm feeling they're actually into both guy and girl Hmm. You take what resonates for you. Let's get some from the tarot and see what we can get to clarify. Let's clarify I'm still in love with you after all this time. Somebody's still in love with you after all this time. Yeah, and they're about to take a leap of faith. They're about to take a leap of faith um, towards you or this is you towards someone. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Please take what resonates. But we have, um, I'm hearing ground zero. Ground zero. Breaking news. I'm hearing breaking news. I'm, somebody might be coming out. Like I said, somebody is going to give you some type of apology because they're actually bisexual. Yeah. Yeah. With the Eight of Cups, they're about to walk into... They're about to walk into the happiness is what I'm hearing. Somebody here, they're about to walk right into the Fool. I'm also hearing Fool's Journey... Or you could be dating some type of fool that keep jumping. I'm hearing somebody, you could be dating somebody that keep jumping from male to woman, male to woman, but they're not being honest with you. And this is why they, like, if they keep leaving you and you haven't done anything for them to just keep up and leaving, they are trying to figure out how to tell you that they're bisexual is what I'm hearing. Yeah, high priestess, but you already know. You already know collective. You already know what your person is into. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You are already aware what this person is into. Or this is you. This person is already aware that you um, are into two. Yeah, with the tower and the love. You're into two is what I'm hearing. Yes, we got the tower card and the ace of cups. It's going to bring some type of you know change i'm hearing unexpected change this is inevitable inevitable change towards some type of love relationship it's inevitable this change is meant to happen is what i'm hearing somebody is meant to walk away and begin anew elsewhere take what resonates for you or they're meant to have two I mean, it, it, I'm hearing that. Somebody is meant to not have the traditional type of love. And they already know that. And it's going to cause a lot of tower moments um, in somebody's life or for somebody. You could have caused a tower moment by express, expressing that to somebody. I keep hearing one is too close to zero. Look, zero. Zero. I am keep hearing one is too close to zero. And then I'm also seeing with this tower, I'm hearing not everybody can come with you. Not everybody can come with you on this journey is what I'm hearing as well. But I'm definitely feeling like somebody here wants 
a non-traditional type of love or relationship. And somebody here is already aware of that. Or I'm hearing you need to use your intuition regarding this type of situation. Ten ten on the clock. You need to use your intuition regarding this type of journey that you're about to go on. Somebody definitely is going to go on the journey. They're going to go on this fool's journey. They're walking and they're leaving whatever behind. Yeah, then we have the moon, like the double moon here. I'm definitely feeling like somebody wants to. Somebody almost put two. Somebody wants to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hearing somebody here is like I'm hearing brother brother man from the fifth floor <laughs> brother man from the fifth floor but I was about to put somebody here more too I mean somebody here more three I, I have no idea what you're into Cancer Scorpio Pisces but somebody here is already fully aware of this they already know this is Mr. and Mrs. All-Knowing. They are already aware of what you're into or what you're looking for at this time. They, Or this could be you already knowing. 11-11 on the clock. You already know what this person is into. It's just maybe you're not sure how to give it to them. This type of love. Maybe you're not sure how to go about it at this time. This person could feel like you probably have some type of addiction. You know, whether that is sex. Maybe you're addicted to love. You know. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, please take what resonates. You could be having some type of uh, alcohol, drugs, whatever. It could any, like I said, addictions could be um, basically too much of anything that's bad for you. Too much shopping, too much water is bad for you. Um, the way you eat, maybe you have um, addiction with the way you eat. <coughs> Excuse me, my throat kind of got a little um, tight right here. So maybe it is. Maybe you eat a lot, and this person is like you know you need to drop some pounds or whatever but i feel like you already know you know your body is getting to what it needs to be you're working on eating more healthy i mean that could be it for a slight few for for somebody out there but there is some type of apology that somebody wants to give you or you need to give to somebody please take what resonates i am reading for water signs cancer scorpio pisces um but i have to give the message how i give it so this could be you um or this could be someone else. Energy is interchangeable. Please put it how it fits. You know, don't don't force the shoe if it's too little, basically. <laughs> this is general as well. It's not a personal read. Um, so don't go in my comments talking about, that's not my situation. Okay, if you know that, you know, try a different video or, you know, a different, you know, channel. <laughs> you know, I appreciate all the love and everything, but, you know, um, we all kind of say the same. These are general messages. It's not specifically for you. You know, if you feel like it is, that's you. You know, you take it. Make sure you use your intuition. With this high priestess card, use your intuition and discernment. You know, this is general. You know, it's general. It's for, a co you know, the collective and whole. Billions and trillions of people out there. Oh, it's a lot of Cancer Scorpio Pisces. And like I said, in most of my readings, most of every zodiac sign is in your birth chart, which is considered as your life blueprint, which is astrochart.com. Go ahead, check out the description box, astrochart.com. You'll see, you'll see, you'll see exactly what I'm saying. You'll have most of all the zodiac signs. You could be, you know, Cancer or, you know, you could be, um, yeah, Cancer Sun and Scorpio Rising with a Pisces Moon. You see what I'm saying? Like, you can have all the waters or you could be um, Pisces uh, myself. I'm a Pisces Sun with a Leo Moon and a Scorpio Rising. You know, um, in, in Mars, I'm, I'm an Aries. You know, my, my Mars is Aries, you know, so I, I know my birth chart. So I'm being... Letting you guys know that that's how I know this website is excellent. You know, you can have different different signs in different places in this birth chart. But I'm getting off topic. Back to my Cancer Scorpio Pisces, my water babies. Somebody here is in love with you. They're definitely in love with you at, for a long time. So this is somebody from your past is what I'm feeling. This is somebody from your past because they're saying after all this time, they're still in love with you. After all this time, I'm hearing uh, we still, or this could just be somebody you've been knowing. I'm hearing 88, um, 222. I'm hearing 16. You guys could have met at 16. I'm hearing you guys could have been knowing each other since, you know, childhood is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing we still, we still. 
It's a song. I'm excuse me. I'm gonna get that song. <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah, partnership. A partnership. Two of cups. This is definitely about some type of love connection with the two. With the two of cups. Like I said, two, two, two. Two, two, two. Could be significant. Somebody already knows that you love them. You love them dearly. You love them dearly, but you're on some type of journey at this time. I feel like there's a Cancer Scorpio Pisces out there that's focusing on their life's journey. A set of love at this time is what I'm hearing. Take what resonates. Somebody feels like you're possibly addicted to work as well. Cancer Scorpio Pisces, you could be working a lot at this time. But they they know that you love them or they know that you want more than just them. Or this is you knowing that you know that somebody you know that somebody wants more than just you. But it's intoxicating. It's intoxicating. It's becoming some type of addiction. Knowing that this person wants more than you. <laughs> This person could be born in April or the person that you're, you know, that you want to get with, with their person is born in April. Take what resonates. Take what resonates for you guys. Somebody definitely is about to give you some type of apology because they had you thinking one thing when they actually want two things. Is what I'm seeing. Or they could just owe you an apology. Catch a Scorpio Pisces. You know, it don't even have to be them wanting more than one person you know it could just be they owe you some type of apology for something they've done or you owe somebody a type of apology for something you've done and they actually want to be with you they want to be on the fool's journey with you is what i'm hearing because i feel like this is you and this is them and they, they coming right to you can't scorpio pisces with all they love with this partnership and the ace of cups they come in with all they love they want to be partners. I keep hearing that. They want a partner. I want a partner. I'm here. I need a soldier. I need a soldier. Somebody coming straight to you is what I'm feeling, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. This person could suffer from addictions. So be mindful again. Like I said, you just, this situation could just be wrapping it up to please use your intuition regarding the situation because it might not go in your favor is what I'm hearing as well. Use your intuition regarding a situation with somebody coming back with an apology, telling how much they love you um, and how much perfect you are and things like that. You know, it could not end well is what I'm hearing as well. You know, somebody could be whispering sweet nothings in your ear and they really just have some type of addiction to you. You know, unhealthy, an unhealthy addiction. An unhealthy addiction is what I'm hearing. Yeah, but we got a love offer with the Page of Cups. This is a small one. Um, and the Page of Pentacles. They definitely want to offer you something. It could be small. I mean, hearing children as well. They could be offering to start a family with you is what I'm hearing. I just seen 1818 on the on the timer. So you could have two kids. Look, what I say, Page, they want to offer some type of happiness. They want to offer some type of happiness to you. Or you guys could be getting ready to have a son is what I'm hearing. Getting ready to have a son. But right now, somebody, yeah, right now, somebody's just a type of sorrow and regret. Yeah, apology here. Somebody's going to apologize for something they've done. Or I'm hearing somebody is apologizing because, wow, I'm hearing somebody spent your whole relationship reminiscing on their past instead of focusing on the two cups they have and they realize what they did. And they're going to apologize. They're going to apologize that they focus too much on their past and not their present and you know trying to build a future yeah you could be a queen of cups energy you could be a queen of cups energy that was offering somebody some type of love and they kind of you know they kind of dismissed it is what i'm hearing they kind of dismissed it they were too busy looking the other direction is what i'm hearing yeah you were trying to offer or somebody is about to offer you some type of commitment but I'm hearing it was a Queen of Cups energy trying to offer some type of higher level commitment to somebody that was born in April or April is significant. Maybe somebody tried to offer something to you, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, in April and you wasn't paying attention. You wasn't paying attention. 
is what I'm hearing. You're too po busy focusing on past hurt, past events. But I'm definitely feeling like it was a, somebody here born in April that a Queen of Cups energy was trying to offer some type of higher level commitment to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And I'm saying that because I pulled a few more. When I got the Nine of Pentacles, somebody that was single, abundant, it just in their own, in their own, you know, standing in their own power is what I'm hearing. A male or a female that was single, abundant, um, they just stand in their own power. Look at this person with their little bird, Nine of Pentacles. But you were trying to offer something to somebody, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Look at this. Look at this. With the ace of pentacles but this person the knight of pentacles was moving slow moving slow again like i said somebody's born in april towards capricorn or virgo somebody is at a standstill at this point and but they still love you after all these years after all this time they still love you they still love you they still love you cancer scorpio pisces like i said somebody you were trying to offer it up you were trying to offer it up you were trying to offer it. I just did a reading like that to um, Earth sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I did it, you know, so I had to give related message. I don't, you know, really typically try to do it like that, but I, 21, 21 on the clock. Um, but somebody here, there was a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, either dealing with somebody that was offering them something and they kind of fumbled it, or, you know, it's vice versa. Energy could be unchangeable. It could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces that was, um, you know, sleeping on the Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Please take what resonates. But I just did the reading. Um, and I'm feeling like there's something to do. It's related to it. I feel like it's related to something like that. Yeah, because I keep feeling that, um, what Kevin Gates say, imagine breaking the heart of the person that God sent to heal you. And I feel like there's a Cancer Scorpio Pisces out there that was sent to some type of earth sign to, to help them. And they kind of blew them off. They focused more on their past. Like, like I keep saying blew, blew up. They blew up the situation too busy focusing on their past. They wasn't focusing on the right thing. Two, 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 two on the clock. Somebody here wasn't focused on the right thing, whether that's you, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or somebody that, like I said, was born in April. But this person got you waiting at a standstill. This Knight of Pentacles. This this Knight ain't even moving. So they're just standing still. Wasting time is what I'm hearing. But this person is gone. This person is on their full journey. They don't, they, I'm hearing Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, at this time, you're not really focusing on love. If it comes, it comes. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Because you're on something else. I'm hearing you trying to build a career. You're trying to build whatever, uh, a, a family life, even if it is by yourself. But you're heading somewhere else. You're into the direction of new, new and approved is what I'm hearing. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. But take what resonates. Take what resonates for you. We're going to pull some from the Lover's Oracle to get more information. Please, please take what resonates for you. This, for all my newcomers, Lover's Oracle is a very, very truthful deck. It is not always sunshine and rainbows, but it is whatever you need to hear at this time. Um, so, let's see what we get from the Lover's Oracle. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Yeah, why do I deserve someone like you? Yeah, they don't know where this is you. You triggered them. You triggered them that due to possibly now they're drinking and doing uh, drugs because you blocked them. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. You could have just recently blocked someone that they had visions of you guys together and they're scared of rejection. And last but not least, they can't express themselves. They can't express themselves. They can't express themselves. They're, you're dealing with somebody that can't express what they want and how they want it. Like I said, somebody here owe you some type of an apology or you owe somebody an apology for not being honest with them because you or someone else could not express themselves due to fear of rejection. Somebody is scared of rejection. You or someone else, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, take what resonates. Somebody here that is scared of rejection and they couldn't express themselves. Um, 
are stuck in visions of you guys together. Like I said, somebody's saying, after all this time, they're still in love with you. I'm still in love with you after all this time. Um, you could have blocked this person. You could have blocked this person. I'm also hearing... Um, I'm also hearing a family member, a past on family member is trying to reach out to you that was born in April, but right now they're blocked or they're blocked due to possibly you um, being without addiction. Maybe you were, um, your addictions to drug and alcohol is blocking the communication from your past on loved one that is born in April. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces at this time, that just took a whole nother left. I swear these these messages come out of nowhere. But you triggered somebody. You triggered somebody. You know, if it's not a past on level one, again, if it is, my condolences. Um, but at this time, yeah, at this time, somebody that's drinking and doing drugs is blocking some type of message that your past on level one is trying to give you. You might be stuck in visions of them together, you and them together. But they're trying to communicate. But I'm hearing your addictions are in the way. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, please take what resonates. That's not for everybody either. Um, but back to this love reading here, obviously. <laughs> um, somebody's been triggered. You triggered someone. You triggered someone. And they don't even know why they deserve someone like you. They don't know. They don't understand why they even deserve someone like you. Possibly because you, like I said, imagine... Imagine breaking the heart of the person, the one person God sent to heal you. You don't know. Some people were sent to, to actually heal you from those, um, what was it? When that person was in the sorrow, what was it, the five of pentacles? I mean, five of cups, I'm sorry. The five of cups. Somebody here has probably been in this energy for God knows how long, and they sent somebody to, to heal you, a single person, a person that was really single and abundant. This person was going to offer you, or this is you, Cancer Scorpio, um, Pisces, you were going to offer this to someone. You were very single and abundant in your own right, and you were trying to just help someone is what I'm hearing. You were trying to love someone. You were trying to bring some type of partnership. Is what I'm hearing. Yeah, with the higher thing, you're trying to bring a higher level of love to this person. Something that they never experienced and they were too busy focused on their past and not their present and trying to build their future. I just I just had a little riddle for my son the other day. Um, time and death got married, right? And they had three kids. Who are they three kids? Put, drop it in the comments. Drop it in the comments. Time and death came together, got married, and they had three kids. Who are the kids? Drop it in the comment, y'all. Drop it in the comments. I want to know how many people are aware of that. Aware of this. Some people don't even know. Yeah, somebody feeling left out in the cold. Somebody feeling like you left them out in the cold. Could it be this King of Wands energy? Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo? That just came out of nowhere. But I'm definitely feeling like um, somebody here needs to um, open up a little bit more. Be honest. You or someone else. But like I said, drop it in the comments. Time and death got together, got married, and they had three kids. Who are they kids? <laughs> oh, when we come back, I have more information. But I want y'all to drop it in the comments of the three babies that time and death had. Because there was a one point in time that that time did not exist. There was never um, a point where somebody passed away. But when time and death got together, got married, and had these three babies, things changed for the world. So let me know who are time and death three kids. Let me know. Let's see. We're going to do some affirmations. Affirmations, again, this encouragement do not have to be related to the message. 
whatever encouragement you need at this time. It could be helpful for you. Helpful for you. It could be helpful. Whatever encouragement. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio. We got breathing. Breathe. <laughs> I mean, all I do is breathe. I become calmer and more relaxed with each breath. With m my breathing, I take control of my consciousness. Breathing. Breathing is not morale or physical necessity. It also is a critical tool for our mental well-being. By taking deep, full breaths, we send a message of calmness to the rest of our body. By focusing on our breathing, we switch off the ongoing internal monologue and bring attention into the here and now and can use this path um, I'm sorry, can use this platform to channel our awareness in more helpful directions. I become more calmer and more relaxed with each breath. With my breathing, I take control of my consciousness. Like I said, somebody here was focused more on their past and they kind of wasn't paying attention to their present, their present, their present situation. Yep, could be work, work-life balance. Working hard in a job is great, and you may have a job that you love, but don't forget that your job is only a part of you. It is not your whole life. Maintaining a healthy work-life balance is critical impact on your mental well-being. Growth as a person and overall life enjoyment give your best at work, but don't deprive yourself for essential human freedoms. I work hard, and I take my rewards for it. I will never be a slave to my job. Like I said, somebody here was works a lot. Somebody could be addicted to work or something like that. Um, but take what resonates for you. Uh, do, 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 do. We're going to get some angel answers and get ready to close it out. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Oh, everybody needs to talk to their angels today. Ask your angels. Ask your angels, like I said, use your intuition. Use your intuition because you might be in a, getting ready to be in a situation that's not going to end well. Or this is somebody regarding you. You know, they need to ask their angels about you. Take a resonance. Yeah, some answer is yes. Somebody is about to ask their angels about you because they don't know if you really was sent. I keep hearing, who sent you? Who sent you? <laughs> Who sent you? Coming here making me all happy. Yeah, get some more information. Mm-hmm. Get more information. Do your homework. Do your homework is what I'm hearing. Do your homework. On this person, on this person, on this person, on this person. Look, two persons. I'm telling y'all. I am not lying. Yep, remain positive. Remain positive. Somebody got two persons, or they want two persons. Take a resonance. Within the next few weeks. Within the next few weeks, something is going to happen here. Something, something, something is going to happen. Something is going to happen. <laughs> Within the next few weeks. Remain positive. Ask your angels and remain positive. Get more information. You might get a yes answer within the next few weeks about a situation. I'm hearing a 333, 333 on the clock. Take what resonates for you, my loves. Okay, we're going to get an angel prayer and end it there. Angel prayer for Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Yes, told you somebody is in there bag right now they not worried about love express your creativity thank you angels for helping me to express my inner creator your inner creator mm -hmm. somebody definitely is in um i'm here on the fool's journey of their art at this time you know most water signs they they are very artsy i could be talking to um anybody at this time but i'm definitely feeling like somebody here is about to start being more expressive which they need to because somebody here couldn't express themselves i'm hearing they're they're dealing with people that's triggering them to make them i can't express myself 
somebody here needs to be more expressive cancer scorpio pisces or somebody you know uh this vice versa i can be talking to the uh, the cross watcher but um thank you angels for helping me to express my inner creator you are a creative being and the angels are encouraging you to tap into your gifts so that you can share your talents with the world these can go beyond art form or music as you are constantly creating in your life, you're being handed a blank canvas by the angels encouraging you to paint what, whatever happens next. Creative energy is flowing through you right now. Take some time to express this divine gift that you have. You are an artist with phenomenal abilities. Create your life in the light of your creator. In order to take the next step, you are being encouraged to paint it, write it, sink it, um, bring it into creation in a loving expressive way cancer scorpio pisces you're being encouraged to write it sink it <laughs> draw it color it paint it dance it i'm hearing anything that you are capable of doing you're gonna do it that's creative cancer scorpio pisces this is beautiful this is what i'm seeing for you for today water signs cancer scorpio pisces please please take what resonates for you um it's been nice it's been nice i am your host majestic quinn 444 please like subscribe follow me on instagram tiktok miss one of a kind i hope you all enjoy your weekend and have a blessed blessed day